Hi everybody. I want to show you how you can use a program that comes with your Mac computer that lets you capture images and video images. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to share my desktop and get to my finder. Uh, so we have this program down here uh, in my menu bar comes with all Macs, you, you may have to activate it. I think I had to activate this when it came. It's called Screenshot. So if we click on this screenshot, you'll see a toolbar come up here, and there's different things we can do with Screenshot. We can capture images. We can capture an image of our entire screen. We can capture images of select windows, so I can capture this window, and actually capture the window behind it. Uh, I'd wanna know what's on that window. I can capture that window where I am appearing up there. We can do different things. We can also just capture a part of the screen. So I'm gonna actually capture this part of the screen. So I'll go ahead, all I have to do if I wanna capture it is hit capture. Capture, so you see it come up in the corner. I could click on that and look at it, but I'm gonna wait and it's gonna save it. And I'll tell you where it saved it and I'll show you how you can figure that out. But it's right over here in screenshot. Uh, so let's open it up. Save it as a PNG file, and there we go. There's the image that we saved. Uh, how did I know it was there? Let's start up the program again. Screenshot, here it comes. So there's a couple other things we can do. We can also record our entire screen, and this will just be a recording of the screen as we work. Uh, it'll show what's ever on the screen and whatever we're working on. It'll show your mouse, it'll show a PowerPoint file, uh, it'll show your desktop, whatever you happen to be working on. You can also just uh, record a selection of the screen you want if you're gonna be doing a, some particular work somewhere. Most often we do uh, the entire screen. Now, over here we have these options and this tells you the different options that are there. We can save our files to whatever location we want to. It gives you a few default locations and we can choose the location by picking other location, send it where we wanna go. And there's some other options there as well. So one of the things I find slightly annoying, particularly if you're doing a screenshot, is when I click on my bar, I have the menu items set up to get large and they end up showing up there. So another way to activate screenshot is to use Command, Shift, and the number five. And when I click those three buttons together, it comes up. So now I'm going to show you how you would do a screen recording. I'm going to escape because I want to do a screen recording of a PowerPoint presentation. So I have a PowerPoint presentation set up to go on IR spectroscopy. Because I want to capture this as a presentation, I'm going to go ahead and start the presentation. And then I'm going to hit Command Shift number five and get my menu bar up there. And I want to record the entire screen. I don't want just a particular part of it. I want to record the entire screen. So I just have to click on that. When I take my cursor and move it up, you see it turns into a little camera. When it's that little camera, all I have to do is press my mouse button and it will start recording the screen. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna take a little screen recording of a PowerPoint presentation. So I'm now recording. One of the things you'll notice this little picture up here, that little picture actually is a result of the recording software I'm using right now. So that wouldn't be there. It would just be your screen from your PowerPoint presentation. And we can go ahead and use the tools in PowerPoint. Perhaps we wanna use the pen and we want to uh, point something out in the image. For instance, I wanna point out that this particular absorption in an IR spectrum, uh, is from a carbonyl compound, it's the CO stretch. We can go ahead and continue to do our PowerPoint presentation. We can switch slides, we can mark it up. Uh, I am using my mouse for this. Maybe you have something that you can do better drawings with, uh, but there you go. So when I'm done recording, I have to either escape and get out of PowerPoint, or I can use, uh, command tab to get to another window, I'm going to escape. When I escape, it's just like escaping a lecture that you had given in PowerPoint. I don't wanna keep my ink, my ink annotations, so I'm gonna discard them. 
And now I can see up here the, that little button. That's the button I have to press to stop the recording. Normally, as soon as I get out of PowerPoint, I come up here and stop it because I don't all want all that bit at the end. So I stopped it and you see it popped up here. That's the recording. But I uh, ended up saving. I forget where I saved them. So all I have to do is go and screenshot and look and I'm saving them on the desktop. So I can escape here and I can go to the desktop. There we go. And right down here, there's the screenshot I took and here's the screen recording that, that we just made. There we go, we can start it. One of the things you'll notice this little picture up here, that little picture actually is a result of the recording. So if, if I uh, make this a little bit smaller, there you see the entire screen recording uh, that we did in just a couple seconds. So that's how you use ScreenShot with a Mac. I recorded everything in a different program. I used Zoom to make the recording. After this, I'm gonna use the Mac piece of software to show you how to do a Zoom recording. Thank you.